fighters fight for many different reasons. Some do it for the fame, others do it for the money. Eventually, all of that fades away. Yet going down in the history books as a UFC champion is something no one can ever take. It's proof that for a moment in time, out of all the fighters in your weight class, you were the best in the world. It's the culmination of all your hard work, the fulfillment of a dream. Tonight is your chance to take that gold belt and hear Bruce Buffer say, and new. That kind of glory lasts forever. Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. This thing is Kelsey. Kelsey. Let me get him front of my Y'all already know the guy that I talk every single time. Well, for a long time, this was the UFC's glamour division. And this young man doesn't care at all about that narrative. He's competing for the light heavyweight championship tonight. This is his first title fight. He has had to put together a serious win streak. He has paid his dues. And now 25 minutes or fewer stand between him and a UFC light heavyweight championship. Just remarkable all this man has accomplished. And now he is on the brink of being forever immortalized as a UFC belt holder. Joe will see if his style can get the job done tonight. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. Well, he has joined a long list of Hall of Fame types. Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some different... There you go, first one, you ready? Are you ready? Let's All right, go. here we go. The UFC's light heavyweight title is on the line. just getting going and there's the end of the fight so it's a win by first round knockout near perfect on the technique i'm not even sure his opponent saw that thing coming and really before his opponent had a chance to get in the fight at all and land anything in terms of a significant strike he was knocked out so major major transpiration here tonight check out this angle here boom And there is the UFC light heavyweight champion. This has long been the UFC's glamour division. And man, did he get it done with style points here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at 18 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new. been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish and it is going to take a special performance to dethrone. Some paths must eventually cross and as two of the greatest fighters in the UFC kept dominating their opposition it was inevitable that this moment would come. 
When the octagon door closes for tonight's super fight, the talk will be over and the entire sports world will come to a halt. This is no ordinary fight. It's a battle between two champions willing to put their own divisional crowns on the line to prove themselves worthy to be on top. And when the dust settles, there can only be one winner, a king with two crowns. All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. This is Kelsey. All right, the super fight is finally here. The UFC champion in all his glory trying to become a simultaneous two-division champion here tonight. This is a lofty, lofty perch. Few men or women have been on it. Let's see if he can complete his mission here tonight. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Mia Chich is 11 years the elder. He will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's in the first this man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 25 wins, no losses. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, the sniper! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 25 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, Steve All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. <laughs> UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consent. Oh! Nice combination. Oh, big kick. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Back and forth we go. 
some bombs he has thrown. Hard straight punch. Went for the head kick. That punch will work right through the door. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Pummeling under. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Back to over under. Double underhooks. We'll see what he can do with it. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, both men exchange. Just over three minutes now to go. Miacic gets caught by the straight punch. Finds his range with the jab. Oh, big shot. And that one certainly found oh. the target. Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He is taking some brutal ground and pound here. Stacking him here, putting the pressure on him. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Good shots. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Miacic gets up. He is back on the feet here. Slightly deflected. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Mia Chish. Oh! The ball through the oh! He is hurt! Big shots! Oh! These guys are trading strikes here. He didn't miss oh! with that! Oh! Big right hand! Oh! Huge right hand! He's in big, big trouble here. Oh, oh good man. left hand. Big left hand. Oh, he did oh! Uppercut that got him the win. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Great angle here. Boom! And then he's out. Well, rarefied air in the UFC, he wins the super fight to become a two-division UFC champion. His future now undeniably in the UFC Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop in this contest at four minutes, 13 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, you can add his name to the list of the greatest fighters in UFC history, a future Hall of Famer as he becomes a two-division UFC champion here tonight. Some suggested maybe he was biting off more than he can chew. The naysayers are eating crow right now. You are staring at a two-division UFC champion. Our most sincere congratulations.